So, you know, let's try different things. Let's be outside more. And I've been trying that again. I, I've restarted running a couple of weeks ago. Again, 558 in case you've been seeing this series. Spread, uh, I'll probably spread this out over. Every video will be its own day. Uh, you know? So I, I try to keep in shape. You know, I, that's good. But what the fuck is the point? You know? You know, and a lot of it is a lot of the therapy stuff, a lot of the, you know, self helps. A lot of it is just this symptom management stuff. And it's like, okay, fine, let's do that. It's better than nothing. But that stuff is kind of gaslighting as much as the pills and as much as the boost bar and everything else. Because, you know, I, at least for me, it doesn't get to the depth of it. You know, yeah, let's go do more push ups, let's go run a little more. Let's be outside a little more. You know? It probably doesn't hurt that much. What are these noises? You know? It's really humid today. Even for, you know, well, this isn't, this is Huntsville. It's not even Houston, but yeah, it's pretty humid. So. You know, and, and what is the goal of symptom management, right? Because, again, I, <laughs> you know, if, if all the little problems I kind of solve in my life, right, then I'm not flipping out about them, I'm not despairing about it, and then it doesn't get here, which is, let's talk about some real stuff. Abandonment. Go see the other ones. You know. Yeah, it's good to be, I mean, you know, I went swimming a little more than usual. Again, I mentioned that 30 minutes is what I usually have. It's like, I just want to get it. Why? You know, even when I'm in the sauna and steam room, I, I don't, I don't simply relax enough. You know, it's like we have nowhere else to be. So just fucking sit here, fucking swim a little more, you know, especially the outdoor pool is so nice and warm. Oh, it's so nice for an easy swim for an hour or more. And just fucking sit there, and that's fine, you know. So yeah, try different things, but so I feel a little better. Do I want to feel a little better? Is that? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. Uh, it's the fan issue and a couple other little bullshit things that you know put me in a tailspin today. But we are out here, you know, so that helps, even if it's, you know, sprinkling a little bit. You know, but yeah, where, where are the people? Where are the people who are sort of compatible with this, who are functional, at least as, well, yeah, I should be talking, I know. But yeah, again, 5.55, 5, 5, sub six minute mile. I'm proud of that. I'm a caulking expert. I can't find somebody to, to fix the fucking fan, but okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and again, this is a, a desperate last shot, so, so to speak, here. And yeah, it might take a while to put these out there and I don't know, hopefully by that time we'll fix the fan. I, I do want to talk about that. I do bring, it's like, do I genuinely, when I get despairing about the fan, do I genuinely think I won't be able to put a fan up there? Like what, okay, I'll, I'll buy this fan, I'll buy that fan. Fuck, let's just put it up, let's return the ones. There are things I can do and yeah, that's just part of my personality to rush and, and want to fix it right now. And if it's not fixed right now, it's the end of the world. And it's not. You know? I don't know.
So I, I guess in that sense, it has been productive. Towards what end, we'll, we don't know, but... It's been productive. We've, we've talked out loud. I mean, we've talked out loud about some of this stuff before, but... I, I just don't feel like I have... I don't, I don't have the will to really go on. It's, it's the passion. It's just, you know, because I see it. What's the point? Good enough. Every, some people have done stuff like this. Or, you know, I just don't see. It's very difficult to see a good outcome here. You know, it's extremely difficult to see just a few people worth being around compatible and you know similar sort of history you know or, or I don't know yeah it's it's very difficult to see that and again, even on good days it's difficult to see that but I just don't don't feel it okay and you know it's it's I, I can do this now that's it I can put these out I can you know, whatever minor problems arise in the house and whatever, some banal things, I can try to fix those, you know, little by little. And, uh, you know, one day at a time, I guess. Uh, Wow, seven minutes. Wow, I, I ran out of things to talk about. That's amazing. Ooh, it's raining again. Yeah. It's kind of bright out there, so it's one of these rains, hopefully, that lasts two seconds. And it's not that much, but... You know, I remember I was at this park in 2012, because under the guise of let's do new things, I said, all right, let's find a new park, and... This was from when I used to live, maybe an hour and a half, maybe, in, in traffic. Now it's a little closer. You know, maybe half as much time, I guess. 45 minutes to get here. Um, you know, and even then, in 2012, I was like, okay, it'd be nice to go camping with somebody, like-minded, or just walking around hiking. And it's like, where's a list of candidates for this, you know? And... Where, where are people who have similar sort of tales, similar sort of personalities, and uh, yeah. it's it is kind of annoying. Well, that it's raining, but it's that might be the wind. Nope. I don't know. It is kind of annoying that you know everyone else seems to be somewhat compatible. They find people, you know, and it's. And uh, here we are. Was, is, probably will be alone. And that's fine. That's, that's what it is. Uh, we got 0 0.8 miles, I think, from maybe half a mile, something like that. 6.8 mile track here, a little over two hours. And even the drive here is kind of fun, you know. It's it's not just, even though this isn't the longest of walks, and I do, I got by the lake. Maybe we'll do that. Hopefully not too many people so we can record something. Maybe even there as well. Oh, good Lord. So yeah, even in 2012 I was here, and I was like, damn, it'd be nice to have some, where do I find that? And it's like, what? And then that was still the Guerrero thing. Let's do... That didn't work. Oh, fuck me. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
know, it's just also frustrating, really. Uh, it's just also fucking frustrating. I don't know what else to say. You know, I think I'm kind of done, actually. If there's something we're, we record by the lake, maybe we can combine this with that. I don't know. This is a pretty short one. Eh. But again, it's... Yeah, if you're still listening after this, I'm, I, I do feel somewhat sorry for you. You know, but... I just, I, again, I'm probably repeating myself, but it's just hard to find a normal. Because even with the more banal stuff of I'll have a job, yeah, I didn't want a job. I wanted to start a business. And then it's like, well, I wanted to start a business because, you know, that was easier. I, I needed some money. I needed to eat. I wanted to eat at that point. It was easier just to say, all right, fuck it, let's build a business. You know? But that Danu it never the Danube incident never never went out of my mind, you know. We're never Yeah, was, is, will be alone. Again, I, I guess if you're why I don't know, it's talked about it an hour ago. Two hours, I you know. As I realized I saw two silhouettes in the uh, on the Danube and I don't know who they were, but it just seemed like they were friends or there was some kind of intimacy there, and I was like, I'm never going to have that. And unfortunately, I was right. Because we can't talk about the military school incident. We can't talk about the Danube incident itself. You know? You know? I'm profoundly alone. You know, you people yell at me. You know, parents and... You know, I'm. You know, I'm monologuing from, what, 15 years ago or more. I could never say that. You know, it's like, do people repress this? Do people not have a capacity for it? That's a good discussion. And that'll be, yeah, let's go on that, right? Is it, is it kind of like people are colorblind? I mean, I could just be crazy, right? Okay, let's... <laughs> all right, I'm still open to that possibility. Probably not. But you know, do people repress it? Is it you know the, some of the psychology stuff is oh the true self, and it gets repressed, and I I don't know. Does it matter? Because again, I want to talk about this stuff, and who shows up? Just all, there's nobody, you know? Nobody shows up. You know, and, and at this point, because I'm so bitter and so, just quite frankly, you know, suicidal. I mean, it's not acute. It's not like right now I'm gonna kill myself, but it's, it's always just there. And it's been there. Like, I can understand that even anybody who is sort of on... It's like, oh, I don't want this. Yeah, I understand. Neither do I, right? Because that's... Right. It's just, what, what, what trick is there? What sort of... You know? And this is just a problem I can't seem to solve. I like these open-ended things. We talked about that, the... You know, a lot of people are like trains, they're just two-dimensional set tracks. I'm like an airplane, you know, three-dimensional everywhere, whatever. So I like these open-ended sort of things. That's why I quit college, it was just too boring and fixed. But, 
I can't solve this. You know? Or... And, you know, it's, I, I do try to reason myself and say, well, yeah, I do feel despairing. I do feel suicidal in these, in these times, you know. But this too shall pass. It often has. And, I mean, the specific despairing mood, you know, and I'll fix the fan at some point. I mean, I'm sure, I'll, you know, or, or I don't know. I'll get used to it if I can't even fit. Who cares? You know, it's a fucking fan. The box fan works just as well. But again, is it is it a huge luxury to have a normal fucking ceiling fan that works? <sighs> and it's frustrating, you know, but it's... I'm not going to repeat myself for a hundredth time. But that's... Well, that's actually part of it, too, is... is there's a couple simple things here, uh, even if it's not, you know, it's a, the Danube incident, military school incident, and that's it. Like, you know, we can flesh this out, but it's the same fucking thing over and over again, regardless of what, regardless of what specific little story it is. It all illustrates the same miserable point that I couldn't talk to people, or I noticed this thing, nobody was there. I learned this thing, nobody was, you know, story of my life. And that's also why I said I don't want to really talk to people about it. It's like, I don't want to convince you, right? I mean, I'm doing this, but it's... I don't know. I, I just I, I just wish... With the Guerrero thing, again, the masculine likes masculine stuff, I just... I didn't even... One of my things was, okay, I write this little manifesto type thing. And it's not that I would attract people. It's that by writing this, I would find people who are like-minded on that and again we could talk about the more you know more more uh, more deeper existential things that I'm rambling about here you know there's always that hope of you just find your sort of tribe you find your people that's always been there you know and I've been again that's why I didn't put out a lot of stuff it's like I'll just you know I'll read this I'll, I'll see this but no one no one who has all the, or, or really no group anywhere, but hell, at this point. You know, it would have been nice to have somebody like-minded when I was 16 to reason these things out, but I already kind of did that. So it's not, again, it's, I'm just tired. I just want like-minded people around, you know. I don't, I don't want to debate. I don't want to. Because I don't think I can. You know, I'm going to reason people into what essentially for me was kind of just listening to myself. And, you know, I'm a pretty rational, logical person, except, you know, all the times I'm not. But, yeah, it's, it's just, for whatever reason, I, hang, I, I hung on to the idea that, no, these assholes, they threatened to abandon me, my parents, and they've always done this, and even worse, I can't talk to them about it, and it's like, we're, we're, they're zombies and I'm not. It's like, you could never talk to them about this stuff. There's no, they're there. And same with others. I couldn't talk to anyone about school, about this sort of stuff. Or, oh, your parents, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 and the usual bullshit. There just wasn't that... That understanding, that sort of, no, I was fucked over here. This is wrong, and this is... They're not very deep. They can't, you know, there's just... You know, and now I speak these things a little more out loud, and so what? You know? You know, I'm finally not as afraid. Well, I'm not as afraid of saying these things, and then what? So what? You know? 
So what, what were we talking about? Symptom management? We're all over the place. Who cares? But so do I even sort of anticipate, you know, and say, well, okay, let's not schedule a million things at once. Let's just solve one task at a time. Because I, I, that is the other thing with me is I am, you know, kind of a one-track mind, you know, in so far as I like to do different things. I like to do, again, it's the train and airplane stuff, you know. I want to do things that are not conformity driven, oh, have a nine to five job, that sort of thing. But yeah, juggling a lot of things at once, it's just, it's, t I, I'm not making much sense, I know. So basically, should I just say, okay, we're, we're focusing on the fucking sunroom now. We'll do this one thing, then we'll do this and not schedule everything, you know, overlapping because it's just too many things. I don't know. Because again, uh, who cares? We'll figure it out. Because I, I was actually dragging my feet on a lot of the sunroom stuff. You know, they were out here the first week to look at the AC. And... <clears throat> You know, they were here. Yeah. Yeah, and I just didn't call them for a couple weeks, so that's on me too, I guess, you know. Well, and then I was like, well, let me get some other estimates from other people. Nobody really showed it. One person showed up. They're like, we can't even do this, even though I think I've done a video on, well, who knows. Uh you know, it's like really doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it, that's frustrating too, that it's like a nice little sunroom, right? And, oh, it's four degrees hotter if it's sunny outside. Sorry. Can I live with that? Can I, you know, it's, it's only bad, you know, from noon to five. I might as well just be outside or, you know, have an excuse to be out here or something or at the pool. I don't know. I could do that, but... Uh, whatever, we'll try that. And then, oh, do you take out the windows? Uh, I can't even think about this shit right now. Because, again, part of it is it feels good to kind of accomplish these tasks and get one step ahead. Like, oh, the fan would have worked, and hooray! And then on to the next thing. And then it's like, oh, it didn't work the first time as intended. Well, this is the end of the world now. So, mm, it smells like marijuana. Lots of beer. I don't know. Who cares? 23 minutes. Yeah, that's about it. We'll go down the lake. <laughs>